Welcome to Channel 6 Big Bear News and Events, brought to you by North Shore Tavern in Fonskin. Remember, Friday night is Dollar Tacos, so come on over to Historic Fonskin, the gateway to the valley, and by Urgent Care, Bear, Fam Bear Mountain Family Medicine on the Boulevard and Summit Plaza for all of life's little emergencies, and by Bear Skins on Pine Knot in the Village, where since 1992 they've been providing locals and visitors alike all things Big Bear from infant to 3X. I'm John Wells. Remember to watch the Channel 6 crawl at the bottom of your screen for current weather and road conditions, and of course you can watch all all of our programming live on the website at www.channel6bigbear.com. The Big Bear Chamber of Commerce announced last week the hire of their new executive director, Rachel Wade of Big Bear. Wade will begin her new duties on Mar Monday, March 26th. We conducted a thorough search, says Marlene Kane, chairman, and we're delighted it's led us to Rachel. Wade is a Big Bear native for, and for the past five years has been the general manager of the Redland Symphony, a nonprofit organization that has seen many changes. In addition, Wade has an MBA in global business and dual BAs in psychology and music. Now a story for our math majors. The latest jobs data says the U.S. jobs market has been on a tear for the past six months. In fact, it's the best U.S. employment growth in 12 years. For instance, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported Friday that the number of Americans who had job jumped by 428,000 in February, following an 847,000 jobs gain in January. This is according to a survey of about 60,000 households. And from the Sheriff's Department, on March 8th, the Big Bear Sheriff Station rep received reports of eight vehicle burglaries from unlocked cars during the hours of midnight and 7 a.m. at various locations within the city of Big Bear Lake. Investigation of the burglaries is ongoing and deputies and detectives following up on all the leads. Anyone with information on recent vehicle burglaries is encouraged to contact the Detective Bureau at the Sheriff Station 909-866-0100. Information can also be anonymously called in by calling the We Tip Crime Line. Some quick reminders, March 14th at 11.30 a.m. at the Community Church by the Lake, there's a community forum to get grant money for kids and families. On Thursday at 9 a.m. at Hoford Hall Civic Center, the city is hosting one of their community meetings to discuss construction in the village. The reconstruction project is set to begin on April 2nd and run through the summer. The project is so massive it has been coined the Village Renaissance. Improvements will include all new streets, curbs, gutters, sidewalk, pavers, mid-block crossings, lighting, street signs, two outdoor fire pits, and related seat walls. The village will be open for business throughout the construction. Also on Thursday, March 15th, there's a middle school fundraiser all day at Maggio's. Our school's gate program will get a portion of the purchase of every pizza sold that day. The Chamber invites you to join them for two ribbon cuttings on Thursday, March 15th. First at 10.30 a.m., the Tea and Coffee Exchange. That's where the old Starbucks was on Payne. And then at 11.30, head on over to Del Lago's Boutique, located at 625 Pine Knot, right across from the Village Theaters. The Chamber of Commerce will also help host another ribbon cutting for the new Warehouse Theater on Friday, March 16th at noon, located at 1117 West Big Bear Boulevard. Thursday, March 15th at 6.30 p.m., join the Sierra Club meeting. Find out about the Mitsubishi Plant Reclamation Project. On March 15th through the 17th, the Big Bear Middle School presents Fame Junior at the PAC. To call 909-866-4970 for tickets on that. The Green Thumbs Native Plant Restoration Project with the Forest Service starts also on March 17th. For St. Patrick's Day, here's a few celebrations you might want to attend. Celebrate with Steve Kane at La Dolce Vita Tasting Room. That starts at 5 p.m. Glenn Butcher, Man About Town, St. Patrick's Day Casino Night Fundraiser starting at 7 p.m the North Shore Tavern in Fonskin, and the St. Patrick's Day Casino Night Fundraiser at the Convention Center to benefit the Singing Pines Outdoor Education Center. For details on all these events, check out the Channel 6 website. And finally, a baby was born in Big Bear that's creating quite a stir throughout the Southland. A baby eagle chick named Jack was born to a pair of bald eagles in the San Bernardino National Forest near Grout Bay. It's estimated the chick was born around February 11th, and it was spotted on February 21st by Forest Service wildlife biologist Mark Stamer while on a field trip with third graders from the Big Bear Elementary School. The chick was named Jack to honor one of the Forest Service's most dedicated Eagle Count volunteers, Jack Lubicki, who passed away just a couple of years ago. 
Check the channel, channel 6 calendar for details on all these events and more. Remember, you can watch all the Channel 6 programs live on the web at channel6bigbear.com. Just click watch live. If you see breaking news or have an event, just email it to info at channel6bigbear.com. You can also get all the current weather on the Channel 6 website from a quick glance at the week on the rolling scroll to in-depth reports from several local weather stations, channel6bigbear.com. Tune in at the top of every hour for breaking news as it happens. I'm John Wells for Channel 6 Big Bear News and Events, the local advantage. We now return to our regular programs.